You know, when you look in the description of a film and you see that Bill Mosley and Leslie Easterbrook are in a film along with Alan uh, Kayser, uh, uh, you just can't pass it up. And so today, we're taking a look at House of the Witch Doctor, which stars those three veteran actors, plus some others as well, where we get a story of Cliff Rifton, who's played by Alan. Uh, he played Brad from Night of the Creeps, and he was also in Mama's Family. He played Bubba. Uh, he's in this, and he's just this vicious, nasty guy who got out of prison and is already on a new killing spree and a vicious crime spree with his buddy. And they end up crossing paths with four college kids when they they break into a home of the college kids uh, and they do mean and nasty things to these kids but soon they find out that they broke into the wrong house and they will regret ever breaking into this house and realize that maybe sometimes they should just pass by the house and not give in to their violent homicidal tendencies and their rapey tendencies, tendencies as well. Yes, folks, this film has some extreme scenes in it, but let me tell you, it was a lot of fun. I tell you, uh, the screenplay, which was written by uh, Devin uh, Mikolas, who also directed this, this is his first feature, and he did really well with this. Uh, you know, if you like independent cinema and not bothered by some extreme scenes, there's a couple rape scenes in here, uh, some gratuitous nudity in here as well. All those elements in here, uh, if those don't bother you too much, I think you're going to have a lot of fun with this film. Not only just uh, because you get to see Bill Mosley and Leslie Easterbrook on the uh, screen together. They play Peter and Irene Van Hooten, the parents of Leslie, who's played by Callie Stevens, who I loved her character as well, her performance in here. Uh, if you've uh, seen my earlier review of Punching I did a while back on the channel, uh, she was in that, and she, oh, I just loved her in this. She's such a great character, this Leslie character, because you're not quite sure where she stands or what's going on with her. There's a few quirky, weird things that are going on, and Callie plays it very well. Bill Mosley and Leslie Easterbrook have that chemistry again. They were in Devil's Rejects together, and you could tell uh, they're having fun pairing up once again, and I loved their characters. Now, Alan, really, the guy, the Brad from <laughs> Night of the Creeps, wow, you've never seen him, I don't think, in a role quite like this, doing some really nasty scenes. I will say a couple scenes did make me feel uncomfortable, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but that may turn some people off to this film. But the story in this film, really, with the twists that they have, especially as it plays out near the end, really surprised me. I will have to say, I was actually surprised at a couple of uh, points in the film I didn't see coming. I thought I saw most of it coming, but they surprised me, which is a good thing. You always want surprise in a film, especially films like this. Production value-wise, looks really decent. Uh, you know, you got some gore effects in here, which were really well done. I thought a whole lot of blood in this film. It does get bloody, especially near the end. Uh, and you do just hate these characters. Oh, you just hate these characters. And I will say, uh, Dave Willis plays uh, Cliff's buddy, Buzz. He is such the epitome of sidekick villain. I uh, just this whole look at everything about him. He wears his wife, uh, is this tank white tank top. He's got the the wee odd teeth and straggly hair. is all greasy and just just very vulgar and just it just he is such the sidekick. And I couldn't help but laugh a few times at him, even though they were doing some disturbing scenes. So maybe that just means I got to go talk to my therapist again. I don't know, but let me tell you, House of the Witch Doctor is worth a watch, especially if you're a fan of Bill Mosley. Uh, Leslie Easterbrook and Alan, uh, definitely check it out. It's an interesting story. It was a fun story. And if you're looking for some uh, horror to watch on Instant View on Netflix, just flip through, choose that, and I don't think you'll be disappointed. If you have seen House of the Witch Doctor, again, always give me some feedback. Leave your comments. Love to hear from you guys out there. Growing in subscribers because of you guys. Thank you so much for your support. And as always, till next time, keep that ticket stuff. Thank you.